Kevon Tavernier completely changed how I was going to do this video. Great goal for the kid at the end of the game. 17 years old, fantastic finish, well composed. Great moment for him. He's going to be something special. Looking forward to seeing him for the Canadian U20 team. But overall, 2-1 to one loss for Forge in this match against Guadalajara in Mexico. Coming off the 3-1 loss in Hamilton. So 5-2 to two total on aggregate loss as Forge FC is the first team eliminated from the 2024 CONCACAF Champions Cup. Overall... Forge stayed in it. Forge held in it. They were not blowing out in either game. They, you know, obviously were the weaker team in both games and obviously were like lacking in quality in both games compared to the Mexican side. But Forge were pretty solid overall. And I think also like taking in the fact that like it's Mexican side that's in the season form versus Forge FC in very preseason form. It makes it hard right off the bat for Forge. Forge right off the bat coming into this is at a disadvantage. And also, like, yes, people are going to say, well, Guadalajara wasn't playing their strongest side, but also neither was Forge. Like, Forge has lost Tristan Henry, Mandrakar James, Wubens Pasias, Abubakar Sissoko, Rezart Rama, like five key players for Forge gone with no replacements in for them. That's the problem with, like, this tournament's timing for a team like Forge, because Forge traditionally is a bit later on getting their signings for the CPL season. So, like, Forge also wasn't at full power. Forge also was missing five key players from last season who they hadn't replaced, and that's five, like, key players that are going to be in most games in the CPL that weren't in this match for Forge. So, like, a full Forge team, like a full-strength Forge team, does better in this competition than what this Forge team did. And this Forge team was no slouch in this competition. Just for a CPL team this year moving on in the CONCACAF Champions Cup, Cavalry was always the stronger choice. They're playing a Orlando team that's also not going to be in midseason form, also going to be in preseason form. And also Cavalry like has pretty much their whole roster and has made additions from last season. So there's just not as much turnover in the Cavalry squad. And like they have what's basically going to be their full strength team for the CPL season already ready to go for the CONCACAF Champions Cup. So like Cavalry has an actual chance of moving on in this tournament. Forge did very well for what we did. Good showcase for some young players for Forge. Some players for Forge looking like they're going to have great seasons this year. Noah Jensen was great. Tristan Borges was great. Guys who like look like they could really find another level this season compared to how they played last season. So like for two games, two months before the CPL season with a half-strength team against a way better opposition, solid showing from Forge all around. Guadalajara, you know, you knew they were going to win this. And, like, they come in, they dominated the game, they got the job done, they did what they had to do, they played a rotational squad, resting guys for League MX games, but they got the job done, they knew it, they did what they needed to do, they knew what they needed to do, and they got it done. So, like, Guadalajara gets the job done, Forge, nice little showcase. I think everyone kind of leaves this matchup, leaves this two-game series a little happy.